We'll wing it, we're live. Okay. Hey guys, here we are today with Keith First, and he's the proud owner of this MTO Classic, but it has a slight twist to it. Keith, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, um, I ordered this MTO Classic as a kit. I ordered it without the uh, 912 UL or 912 ULS because I didn't want a carbureted motor in my aircraft. I wanted the 912 IS fuel injected motor because I wanted the reliability and the ease of maintenance and a lot you know, all the little things that make the 912 better. Also, it comes with a you can order it with a 2,000 hour five year warranty. Oh, that's the Rotex Care. Exactly. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so all the warranty lasts all the way out to the TBO. So if, if you can run 2,000 hours out in five years, you get you get all the benefits of not having to worry about your motor at all. Oh, that sounds awesome. It, yes. So, just a quick question now. Sure. Was it a difficult installation if it was never designed for the IS to begin with? Uh, the installation was actually, I've never built an aircraft before, so the installation was actually very straightforward and pretty clean. Um, they give you a lot of information. There's, uh, you know, working with your build assist plan or with your local dealer, um, they give you all the help you need. It's, so, it um, where, where did you get it from? Who was your team that helped you and things like that? Um, the people that helped me were Mike Burton and Mark Campbell from Sierra.Aero out of Petaluma, California. Oh, wow. And they are great. They're great. Um, I know. I, I mentioned before when we spoke that uh, I love being with them and spending some time with them. And I got to fly, but it was in the Cavalon, not in the MTO. Yeah. Uh, but it was a beautiful experience watching, uh, you know, the the Golden Gate Bridge and then flying up the coastline and things like that. It was it was phenomenal. It was like flying in in, a, in an armchair. It's fantastic running over the beaches and everything. Oh, and then you know you can if you want to stop and look at something. You can just drop down and uh, have a look at it. You don't need to worry about your banking and everything. It's like, oh, I missed something. And it's right there again. So I loved it. So I must admit, I'm actually a uh, auto gyro fan. So maybe it's a little biased interview, but there we go. That's okay. It's that pretty out there. It's a lot of fun. So can you show us some of these things that you made unique to fit the 912 IS into your aircraft? Yeah, the 912 IS is obviously computerized, so it has a, a little more electronics than the carbureted one, but it comes all as a package, it comes all pre-set up. There's not a lot for you to figure out. Um, just follow the instructions. But on, like on mine, mine did not come with a, a place for the electronics, so I designed some brackets and stuff to make it okay. fit. I can show you what that looks like. Uh, like right behind the oh, right wow. behind the back seat. That looks really, really good, and such a nice compact installation too. Yeah, it was clean and it was actually pretty easy. There were um, all the modular plugs and all the things that you require. You don't to cook it up to the rest of the electrical system wasn't very complicated. So that was great because I've never built an aircraft before, so I this was new to me. Uh, well, it looks really, really good, and what I like about it. And particularly in this model, I know the Cavalon's got the enclosure at the back, but I really like this idea because it's so easy to get to everything. So you can do all your inspections and oh, it, it's, it, maintenance must be a breeze. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's, it's very easily accessible. Oil tank's right here. You can access it real easy with the hose, drain the oil right out of it. Uh, I, went up, I went with sil all silicone hoses and did some other little upgrades to it just to make it so I didn't have as much work to do on the five-year, you know, the hose rubber, replacements, rubber, yeah, the rubber replacements yeah. and stuff. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, put a, a little bit more advanced electronics in oh, it. Oh yeah, let's have a look at that. I Tell put, us about I, that. Because because that's that's not standard, right? No. At the back? No. That's a. I I built a carbon fiber rear instrument panel for the instructor's panel um, with a UAV Onyx um, AV30 flight instrument and um, rotor RPM and then some engine gauges. And that's very compact too and it doesn't take up a lot of room. That was kind of the goal. Yeah. You know, to make it kind of clean and simple. And um, 
and, and give you enough information to fly the fly it safely when you've got maybe a student in front. Okay. Oh, that sounds. Did you have that in mind, like right from the beginning? Yeah, for I did, a particular reason at all. Well, mainly if anyone that I fly with, I want them to be able to get the full experience. Awesome, awesome. You know, and that that stick looks a little different too. Yeah. The, normally, this kit comes with a stick with just a button on top. I believe it's for calm. Okay. And so I put a Cavalon stick in it with pre-rotate. Oh wow! Calm, you know, calm so you button. got full control. And, yes, and also the pneumatic trim. And uh, oh wow! So I could do everything from the back seat that almost from the front okay. seat. That's amazing. Without, without having a lot of complexity to it. What I like about this design is it's pretty simple and it's smooth and it's clean. I, I don't know, maybe this is what you call the bare essence of flying or you know. Well, that's, that's why it's open cockpit. That's what, you know, that's what you want. You want to be out in the air and seeing everything. Imagine a perspective from the front seat when you're out there and there's nothing in front of you and you're 5,000 feet or 3,000 feet over a beach. Oh, you know, that sounds great. beautiful with the wind blowing in your hair. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. You've got me sold already. Yeah. Went, went on the front panel, went a little a little different, a JPI engine engine monitor okay. with all the ga engine gauges. Um, another UAVionics AB30 that also transmits traffic into my iPad. Oh wow! With okay. four flight, so you can get quite a bit of information. Put um, resettable breakers in. You know, when you buy the package, it comes with fuses, but I, I decided to make a new panel and put resettable breakers. So that is different. I kind of yeah. I kind of like to know what's going wrong when it's going wrong when I'm, without having to stop and check. Sounds like you a know? plan. That's, yeah. that's good. But yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful aircraft. And like I said, so simple and the lines are beautiful. And yes, I like the color too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to go bright. Uh. But the nice thing about this was going with that 912 IS in this app in this kit application I probably have less than 200 hours on the whole build Wow so we built I also helped build one as a trainer for see ever dare I helped them a little bit with some of the building some of the panels and stuff and uh, that one doesn't have as all the advanced extra goodies in it that I have but we got that one done in 95 hours with That's the 912 amazing. IS, with all the electronics. And, and you were telling me that you built this in under a year and ran a full-time, was still running a full-time job that has nothing to do with I run with a business, aircraft. have a job, I, yeah. I got weekends and evenings maybe, that's it. I started on it in uh, November of 22 and I finished it in July of 23. So wow. maybe eight, nine months at the most. And, and that's beautiful. Well, thank you very, very much for your time today. I truly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you're around sometime and, and she's flying, you know who to call. Yeah, <laughs> and thank you for taking the time to check out my aircraft. Thank you, thank you. Have a good day. Bye now.